Hi everyone, it's Phil from Ashland Leather. We're back again with another private stock event. Everything we're about to look at will be available on the private stock page of our website, ashlandleather.com at 12 p.m. noon central time this Friday, December 8th. And the theme of the event for this Friday is leathers and textures that we're never going to be able to produce again. So let's start off first with this epic texture, green shell cordovan fat herbie. I love the little bits of striations in this leather. Really cool texture on the outside as well as on the inside of this herbie. And next up, I think this is my favorite shell cordovan piece ever. I believe this is tumbled marbled cigar shell cordovan and there's something magical in this piece that I just love. And this is a five slot Frank the Enforcer. Up next is another one of my favorite leathers and textures. This is a brand new shrunken bison leather from Horween. This is a product that they are calling Yellowstone. And this particular color is blue. What I love about this is that natural shrunken texture of the bison, but we also have this really nice depth of color because this leather was hand tipped. On the peaks of the texture, it's a little bit of a darker blue, but the valleys underneath are a little bit more of this light electric blue. And I love the combination of those two together. We've got this bison on a tall Tony the Ant, and we've got that flush interior. So the tall versions of both the Tony the Ant as well as the Fat Herbie are really great because we get to see continuous texture all throughout the outside of the wallet as well as on the inside. Speaking of tall Tonys, we've got another one here. This time it is in tumbled color eight shell cordovan. Love the texture and color on this guy here. And we've got the same color eight tumbled leather on the interior. And let's move on to our most popular wallet style, special one here in 100% color number four shell cordovan. This is my second favorite shell cordovan color, you might ask. What's my favorite? Amaretto is still my favorite shell cordovan color, but I love this medium brown shell cordovan with a little bit of that reddish undertone. It's a really nice shade, the color four. And what's great about this particular wallet, and we've actually made a couple of these, is the interior. Now it's not easy for us to find naturally thin pieces of leather that are appropriate for the interior of the giant of the fox. We don't like to thin down the leather if at all possible, especially on the cordovan because it really reduces the strength. So the foxes that we have up in the 100% color four shell are an accumulation of leather. Over the last year or so, we were only able to make a handful of these. Let's keep it going with the Johnny the Foxes. This next one is black shell cordovan on the outside and is very, very nice shell. Some of the nicest cordovan here, super, super bright and shiny. And on the interior of this guy, it's a really clean and consistent reverse interior. Now this green color is not the reverse side of green shell. This is actually the reverse side of black shell cordovan, which often appears green. And for that reason, we made it with this really nice consistent interior and then did a matching hand stained edge. So the edges on this wallet are actually hand stained with a green stain. Up next is one of my favorite wallets from the batch. This is Rough Out Teal Cypress. So it's sort of like our Teal Latigo leather, except it's flipped around backwards to show this rough outside, which is not the intended side of the leather. So you get a little bit more of a coarse texture, although it has been matted down with a little bit of resin, and it is a little bit more bright and shiny than normal. It's not that same grain side of the leather that you can see on the interior here. So you get a little bit more texture on the rough out, and then as this is worn in, especially if you beat it up, it will become a little bit more suede in sections. On the interior of this giant of the fox, we have a baby ash stamp on top of some teal latigo. Here's some more textures that we're not able to get. Marbled cigar shell cordovan. No two marbled shell cordovan pieces are alike. And I've actually got two pieces of marbled cigar to show you. The first shine of the fox here is a little bit of a brown shade on the bottom with orange in the center and then back to brown on the top. Nice little gradient of color. And on the inside of this one, we have brown cypress. Here's a look at the other marbled cigar shell cordovan giant of the fox. This one's a little bit darker and more brown, especially through the center section but on the bottom right, it's a little bit more orange and tan. Up next is another fun one. We've got some raw denim shell cordovan on the inside of this giant of the fox. The centerpiece here, this is actually raw natural shell cordovan. And then on the edges, they're all hand stained blue with the exterior being natural shell cordovan. And I have one more giant of the fox to show you. This is psychedelic shell cordovan. Super funky look. I'm not actually sure how the tannery comes up with this, but it's almost like a camo effect on these bottom two card holders. And then we've got some natural shell cordovan in the center and top card slots. On the exterior of this one, we have more natural shell cordovan. And I've got a couple more tall variations to show you. 
This is the tall Tony the Ant. This time is in the other color of bison that we have, that naturally shrunken Yellowstone bison from Horween. This is the bourbon color. You get that flush brown color all throughout the interior, as well as that same color and texture pattern on the exterior. And here's another tall Tony to show you. I'm actually not sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure this is a variation on the Shell Cordovan. This might be the horse butts that Horween makes. It doesn't look super smooth like a normal piece of shell, but it also looks kind of tumbled. So this is a unique piece that I'm not actually certain what it is, but I think we're gonna call it Mystery Cordovan. Really nice green shade, almost like the tumbled fair degree leather that we've seen in the past. And on the interior, we've got more of that same Mystery Cordovan. And let's get into some tall Herbies. Here's that same Mystery leather. I really like the look of this. It's a little bit more of like a matte finish and it's got some more random texture in it. And again, the theme of today's video is random texture that we're never able to reproduce. And some of the other stuff that we've done with a random non-reproducible texture are the epic Shell Cordovan pieces. And we've got a few in the batch today. This first one is epic natural Shell Cordovan on the tall Herbie. Take a look at that bright, shiny luster and that intense character all through the backside. And we have some more of the epic shell on the interior. Here's another epic shell cordovan piece. This time it is color eight shell cordovan. It might be a little bit harder to see the epic texture on this guy, but trust me, it is there and it's really, really cool. Here's a look at the backside of this tall Herbie. And one more tall Herbie to show you. This is an irregular, and it's really sad that it's an irregular, but just not up to standards. This is tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. And I love this sort of old penny color, that light pale green shade. And then it's got this bit of a suede feel because this is the tumbled shell. The reason that this one is an irregular is because I think we made it out of leather that was just a little bit too thick. So we're having a hard time getting this to lay down just perfectly flat. It's a little thicker than we would have liked and it's unfortunate that we couldn't control that with the tumble shells. Otherwise, it's a beautiful piece. And here's another one that's really special to me. I love our small zip design. We've got one available in tumbled color eight shell cordovan. And then on the inside, we have the thin black horse hide. And here's a customer favorite. We've got some vertical cart slots on our Bugs Moran. First one is epic natural shell cordovan. Another vertical Bugs here. This is color number four shell cordovan on the outside and on the inside. What's special about this one is there's no ink stamp in the center. We have another vertical bugs here. This is reverse whiskey shell cordovan with a Western texture, both on the inside as well as on the outside. Another bison piece, the bourbon Yellowstone leather, naturally shrunken bison. And then on the interior, we've got the brown cypress. Here's another one in bison. This time it's a color combo. So bourbon on the interior with blue on the exterior and some intense grain character. And we've got some epic black shell cordovan. Love to see it. And there's something magical about the epic texture on the black shells. Maybe you can see it in the reflection right there. Super cool. And here's a look at the exterior of this epic black shell. And the last but not least, Vertical Bugs Moran. This is 1940s calfskin in the blonde color. Not much of this leather left. And I think we own all that is left in the world. This is leather that was tanned by Horween in the 1940s. It's super, super thin veg tan leather. They're not able to reproduce this again. So it's something that's extra special. We do have a few pieces left, including this vertical bugs here. Here's another great texture. In fact, it's my favorite texture that Horween does. This is Western texture on color eight Dublin. It almost looks bright enough to be shell cordovan. Made this one on our Capone money clip. And let's get into some fat Herbies. This is epic whiskey shell cordovan. I think it's either whiskey or natural on the outside. Then the interior, we have one card slot that is reversed and one with the epic texture. Another Herbie here, this time it is epic whiskey shell, both on the inside as well as on the outside. Here's a stunner. We've got inverted color eight shell cordovan, all these random drip marks that we normally see on the reverse side of the leather. This time they flipped the leather backwards and finished it so that drip marks end up on that bright shiny shell side of the leathers. Inverted color eight here on the inside as well as inverted color eight on the outside. And this is a really remarkable look. Here's another one. This is marbled shell cordovan. Again, each piece of marbled shell is totally different. And this marbled color eight sort of ranges from that caramely orangey tan to a little bit more of a brown shade and then some reddish tones in between. Here's another one with some Western texture. This is Western texture on top of marbled color eight shell cordovan and we've got our stamps 
sort of flip-flopped here. This is the Horwich Hill Cordovan stamp on the top right and the Baby Ashland stamp on the bottom left. On the exterior, more of the Western marbled color eight shell. Here's a look at tumbled psychedelic shell Cordovan. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen this and I love the look of it. It's sort of got these ox blood reddish tones and then like a greenish black overlaid on top of it. And then all of it being tumbled gives it a very unique look. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully the video translates it nicely here. Here's a look at the exterior of this fat Herbie. Another one here in this, another one in tumbled color HL Cordovan. Love the texture and color of this leather, both on the outside and on the inside. Here is another marbled piece. This is marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan. A little bit more of these purpley kind of magenta pink tones on the marbled ultraviolet. And sometimes those colors range to more of like the natural shell color, a little bit more of an orangey tan. And then this one has hand stained magenta edges. Another fun one here, rough out English tan Dublin. We haven't really done this before and I really like the look of it. The reason we did this one was to show off the Horween measuring machine stamp. Here's another one in the epic texture, epic natural shell Cordovan for this Herbie, both on the outside and on the inside. This is a total stunner. This is blood orange shell Cordovan for this fat Herbie. Some of that sort of mottled colored look on the inside of this wallet as well as on the outside. Now this leather has a little bit of a story. It was originally intended to be dip dyed amaretto shell cordovan, but the color came out a little bit more orange and red. I happen to think it looks super cool. Here's another one in marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan. This shell, in, in addition to having that cool color range, also happens to be some of the brightest shell that I've ever seen. Maybe you can see this on the outside here. I'll give you a second to look at that great texture, but the luster is almost equally impressive. And one more total stunner. This is inverted blue shell cordovan. We saw the inverted color eight earlier. This is the same idea. They flip it upside down and finish it backwards. So they actually stain it for the reverse side that you see in the center. And that leaves all the unintended random drip marks to hit the shell side. And this one has a great look on the outside and on the inside. Some of these lighter tan spots on the bottom left. And let's get into some Capone money clips. This is an English tan Dublin with a Western texture. We saw the color eight earlier. And I'm really digging this leather right here. This is the teal Cypress, a little bit darker than our normal teal Latigo because of the wax layer that has been finished on top of the grain. I really like the color of it. It's sort of like a darker teal. Here's another piece in that exceptional blood orange shell cordovan. We've got a little bit of a hand stained edge for this Capone and then more blood orange on the interior. Here's another fun trial wallet. Now I think the leather on the outside is a color that the tanners only made one time. I'm going to be calling it Miami blue. <laughs> and we've got that football leather sitting on top of the official football underneath. Official football is not actually brown. It's this red shade that we also have on the inside. And we've got another one here that's sort of the inverse. We've got red official football on top of the Miami blue and then more football on the interior. A couple more Capones to show you. This is inverted blue on Amaretto shell Cordovan with inverted blue on the inside. Here's another stunner. This is epic reverse color eight shell Cordovan also on Amaretto shell. On the interior, we've got some garnet shell Cordovan. Here's one of my favorites. This is the raw natural shell Cordovan. If you're looking for patina, this is the one to pick because it will age in the the most dramatic way uh, from all our leathers. This will give you the most change of color as well as luster. You can see it's a little bit light in color to start, but also very much uh, not bright and shiny like a normal piece of shell. A little bit more of a matte finish to start, but as you wear it, it becomes more and more glossy. Another great one here. This is Epic Natural Shell Cordovan. And here's a cool piece. This is Tumbled Natural Shell Cordovan on top of Western Garnet or color four. I can't really tell what's on the spine there, but that's a great combo and I love the tumbled natural color. Let's get into some Tony the Ants Garnet Shell Cordovan for the first one, both on the inside and on the outside. Here's Whiskey Shell Cordovan on reverse Whiskey Shell Cordovan. On the interior, we have all Whiskey Shell, but there's a little bit of a color range from these pieces of Whiskey Shell. This one is Epic Whiskey Shell Cordovan, both on the outside and on the inside. Check that out. And we have a couple more in the marbled color eight, a little bit darker on the left and a little lighter on the right. Here's a look at the inside with a reverse interior. And here, is another marbled color eight shell piece, a little bit darker all throughout the bottom and it fades to a lighter shade on the top. I love the look of that. And we have also reverse on the inside of this one. Here's another piece of that epic shell. Black again this time, and it might be hard to see that texture. In person, it's very obvious. It's almost like ripples on the ocean 
really striking look on this piece of black shell. Here's a look at the interior. Maybe you can see the texture a little bit easier here. Up next is another tumbled color eight shell cordovan piece. And on the interior, we have alternating reverse color eight on color eight shell. And here's another really nice looking one. This is tumbled cigar shell cordovan for this Tony the Ant. And here's a look at the interior. Love the look of that, very clean look. Let's get into some Bugs Moran. This first one, I believe this is intense blue shell cordovan with the Western texture, both on the inside as well as on the outside. Here's a great combo. We have the rough out teal cypress on top of the grain side teal cypress for the bottom two card slots. And on the exterior is all teal cypress. Here's a good combo. I think this is an inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan on natural shell and then inverted ultraviolet on the exterior. Here's one of my favorites from the batch today. I believe this is psychedelic tumbled shell cordovan. Again, really cool color combo and really interesting texture. And here's a look at the exterior of this guy with that same great color and texture. Check out the inside of this Bugs Marin. It's completely color eight shell. I really like the look of this one for some reason. There's something about it that's uh, really clean to me. Here's a look at the exterior with some epic splatter on reverse color eight shell cordovan. I've got another 1940s calfskin piece. This is a Bugs Moran with a extra hidden card slot on the back. We call this the quick access card slot. Here's another piece in the Western marbled color eight shell on the inside and on the outside. No texture on this guy. Whiskey shell cordovan with a nice horrid ink stamp in the center. We try to cut the ink stamp into nice visible spots on all of our wallets. Here's another piece of marbled color eight shell cordovan. This time we have a reverse interior with some epic splatter. Speaking of epic splatter, this one's even more epic. Epic splatter on the inside of this and then color eight shell on the outside. And here's my favorite shell cordovan color, amaretto shell cordovan. Really nice bright orangey tan shade for this Bugs brand. And on the interior, we've got a reverse interior and these are cut with two Two ink stamps and we have epic natural shell cordovan to round off the bugs brand here's a look at the outside and here's a look at the inside a lot of great items in the video today we're going to round it off with uh, some smaller pieces so this is our vertical frank the enforcer this one has one two three four five six slots on it so this is a six slot vertical frank the enforcer in epic black shell cordovan we have a hand stained black edge another great one here i think this is tumbled cigar shell cordovan on a frank the enforcer there's one two on the front one in the center and then two on the back another five slot frank this time is in marbled color eight shell cordovan and i'll give you a look at both sides because it's really really cool here's another one with a texture natural shell cordovan on color eight gator shell cordovan for the top and here's a look at the back side we have one more tumbled verdigris piece this is our vic snap wallet in tumbled verdigris and we have some machine gun jacks this is teal cypress for the machine gun jack another machine gun jack this time i opened it up to show you the card slots and this is in the 1940s blonde calfskin and one more in a classic corwin leather this is natural chrome excel we have one one shot in the video today this is tumbled cigar shell cordovan and then i've got three lighters and lighter sheets to end off the video this is another one of those mist mystery shell pieces here. Not sure what to call this guy, but it's a really cool dark green. It's a little bit more of a rough texture. Here's another one in the rough out teal cypress, another texture. And then the last one, we've got tumbled cigar shell cordovan. Tons of great textures. It's really fun for me to see. And I'm gonna come back to this guy. I think this is my stunner of the day. Seriously, when I saw this, this is my favorite shell piece that I've ever seen. Let me know what your favorite was from the video. Maybe it was this Frank here. There, there was so much good stuff to look at. And if you're interested in picking up one of these, again, they'll be available on our website, ashlandleather.com. Check out the private stock tab on the website and all of these items will become available at 12 p.m. noon central time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Until next time, I hope you have a good one and take care.